Recent Kentucky Downs Stakes winner Morticia may make her next start here at Keeneland in the Buffalo Trace per her trainer Rusty Arnold, who's delighted to find that the void left by concrete rows has been at least temporarily filled by another daughter of twirling candy in Morticia. Everything went perfect for her at Kentucky Downs. The trip was good, the break was good, everything went perfect. She's shown up every every dance. Uh, she's she's excitable. She's fiery. She's kind of a handful at times, but when you get her in, you get her over there. She just shows up. I'm gonna say she gets it from Twirling Candy. The family on the female side have all been like milers on the turf. She's been from five eighths up to seven eighths. We did try her two turns once. Graded race. She was second. She beat New Money Honey that day and. Uh, couple other nice fillies, so she will stretch out, but she got so comfortable sprinting, was doing so well, we just didn't change it. We had the second dam was a Stormcat filly Mr. Humphrey gave a lot of money for. She was a real well-bred filly, didn't work out. She had some injuries. She was excitable, and when you follow her pedigree back to her, she's got a lot of family. It goes back to Barry Jones's family. Her dam Halloween party was a nice filly, just a step under a stakes filly, was also uh, very competitive, and she gets that, and then maybe the rest from Twirling Candy. She's been great to have for us. She's, uh, she's, she's a piece of work sometimes. She's an effort. You have to do a lot with her. She has to school a lot. She has to do a lot, but, well, you like to have them come into barn. She's a pleasure to have.